Tonight, the News 4 I team investigates potential misuse of money meant to keep renters in their homes during the pandemic. Nearly $800,000 flagged by the agency in charge of the program. It is federal money that families depended on, and three years after the chaos caused by the COVID pandemic, some landlords say they are still looking for relief. But as investigative reporter Ted Oberg and the I team discovered, right now there is no plan to pay them back. John Jones just wants the money he says he's owed. And he's furious as he stands in front of DC's Department of Human Services. How much responsibility are they taking for your missing 14 grand? Zero. Jones is a landlord, not a big city, big building tycoon, but a DC guy with a two bedroom, one bathroom apartment in Southeast that he's rented out for years. This is the department that established and set up this DC program. As the pandemic and its economic tough times set in, Jones and his tenants each applied to the district's COVID era rent relief program, Stay DC. The program allocated 352 million federal dollars to pay rent and housing related costs for tens of thousands of DC residents. For most of them, it worked, keeping tenants in homes and landlords paid. But Jones says didn't work for him. We were informed later by the city that the $14,300 uh, rent check was actually sent to the tenant instead of the landlord. Program rules were clear. Back rent, $14,300 in Jones's case, should go to the housing provider or landlord. This email from the Department of Human Services to Jones show his tenant cashed a check for that amount on October 5th, 2021. But documents the I-Team obtained from DHS show the tenants never turned over the cash. Hi, Ted Oberg from News 4 here. Our calls to the tenants didn't get answered. Neither did our text messages. And our attempts to find them outside the apartment were unsuccessful. So we don't know what they did with the rent money DC says they received. We do know Jones has been all over the district trying to find some agency willing to get him the money the program says he was due years ago. At the Wilson Building, Jones talked with someone in Councilmember Christina Henderson's office. They directed him back to DHS. At DHS, all Jones can do is look in and wonder when, if ever, they'll find money to make him whole. The level of indifference that I've just been met with is truly disappointing. Our repeated outreach to DHS was just as frustrating. They didn't agree to an interview, they didn't answer any questions, and their last email came to us after our deadline. A spokesperson told us, your request is still being vetted internally. We'll follow up as soon as definitive guidance is shared regarding next steps. But we don't know what that means. But we did obtain DHS's own records, which show the district agency found 71 state DC cases where money was potentially misused, nearly $800,000 in all. In those records, DHS suggests 55 of the cases were tenants who possibly misused funds including John Jones tenants. It was then passed on to the inspector, uh, to the inspector general uh, office of Washington, D.C. His last email from the OIG's office was in late June when they told him OIG is waiting on guidance. We asked too, we're still waiting for a response. And so is Robert Butler. How much are you owed today? Oh my God, I done lost count. Butler is a DC landlord stuck in the same cycle. We first profiled him last spring when he told the I team he almost became homeless himself after his tenant wouldn't pay rent. Cash to stay DC check for almost $24,000, but only gave him five grand. It's devastating um, because like I say, it has uh, relatively bankrupt me. Butler says he's losing hope DC's $352 million program might somehow find a way to get him the money he's owed. Has anyone paid you back the money you're owed? No, they don't. They, that's not on their agenda. The I team found there might not even be a process to pay these landlords back. You can't overlook one case of potential waste, fraud, and abuse in any system. David Williams, the president of the D.C.-based Taxpayers Protection Alliance, suggests the way it is now, even though State D.C. may have helped thousands of people, overlooking any wrongdoing cheats tenants, landlords, and all of us, too. Just knowing that the money has been misspent is the first step in the process. But people want to know what's the second step and how do we get that money back and also how do we prevent it from happening again. 
John Jones' tenants are still in the apartment he owns. He says they haven't paid a dime since September 2020, and he's owed nearly $40,000 now. This issue is bigger than me. There are plenty of other landlords and residents in Washington, D.C., who are dealing with this massive fraud. Jones filed an eviction months ago, but like so many other landlords, is waiting months to get into eviction court. The court tells the IT, Jones' case is one of 6,700 pending eviction cases. Ted Ober, News 4 IT. You got to fill for them. Inspector General documents provided to the I team show that five of those cases were closed with no misuse found, but the agency would not comment on pending investigations, including Mr. Jones or Mr. Butler.